Hey guys, welcome to the guide. In this episode, we are talking about the M16 Assault Rifle. The Barbie doll of the gun world. Like, you can accessorize the crap out of this thing, you can mix, mash, put at it, whatever you want on it. And, by the way, while I was, like, looking up naked Barbie doll for the joke of this video, uh, more naked Ken dolls popped up than naked Barbie dolls. So, I, I think chicks have a thing with stripping Ken down. I mean, they give us crap for stripping Barbie doll, Barbie down, but like, more naked Ken dolls popped up than Barbie dolls, okay? Alright, sorry. Anyways, we are talking about the M16 assault rifle, also known as the AR-15 in the civilian world, and it also gave birth to the M4 carbine, which is an awesome gun in and of itself. Now, the M16 replaced the M14 during the Vietnam War which I think was the right decision to do by the government at that point in time because it's all jung it was all jungle fighting in Vietnam so for the most part all your firefights were happening within 200 yards and the M16 and especially the M4 variant is way better at close range combat than the M14 can ever be it just is and like the 556 five, round that the M16 and M4 use it's optimized for close range combat. It's it's a really good cartridge at close range. It, it is. And in the jungles of Vietnam, the M16 was a better rifle than the M14. Because the M14 is good, like I said in my previous video, from 100 yards to 600 yards, but like any closer, it's not very good and it's uncontrollable in full auto. While the M16 is controllable in full auto, and it's good from 50 yards to like 400 yards. It's not very good from 0 to 50 yards because it's still a full-size rifle. Now, the M4, on the other hand, is good from 0 yards to, I would say, 200 yards. Some would say 300 yards. That depends on the person, but like, there's your variables there. Now, the round that the M16 and M4 carbine use, the 5.56 five, has a magic number, and that magic number is 2,000 feet per second. If the bullet is traveling faster than 2,000 feet per second whenever it hits the target, it will tumble and fragment and pretty much explode and do a lot of damage. If the bullet is traveling below 2,000 feet per second, when it hits the target it pretty much just passes straight on through and does minimum damage and that's why the marines they train to shoot put two bullets on target like if because they know the first one might not actually knock the dude down the first one he might still be in the fight so they train to put two bullets on the target just in case now unlike the AK-47's bullet the 762 by 39 if you hit a dude square with that they're dropping. You just ruined their whole month if they're lucky. And same with the M14's 308. If you hit a dude square with that, they're, they're dropping and you just ruined his his year. So that's the upside and the downside of the 556 is if if it hits the target be above 2,000 feet per second, it does a lot of damage. If it hits the target below 2,000 feet per second, it does minimum damage. But on the bonus side, because the 556 is a smaller round you can carry a lot more ammo you can carry a lot more 556 than you could ever carry 308 because it's just a smaller round and as an added bonus the 556 is a lot more stable in full auto because it has minimum re recoil it has low recoil compared to a 308 or compared to the AK-47 762 by 39 so it's very controllable in full auto which hands its abilities capabilities to being a you know CQB round a close quarters round it's really good at that and really what the 556 round is optimized for is the M4 it's better in the M4 carbine than it is in the M16 and it's because the round is a better close range round than anything else. And the M16 is a full sized rifle, while the M4 is a carbine. So the 556 is really optimized for the M4 carbine. Now, as far as accuracy goes, I'm going to go with the AR 15, the civilian version, because, you know, that's, that's the version people can actually buy. 
and it runs the gambit like you can get a budget price AR-15 for like 500 bucks that will give you an MOA of three inches and then on the other hand you can buy a three thousand dollar AR-15 that you can hit a dime with from a hundred yards away so accuracy is you know, it just depends on how much you want to put into the gun if you want to spend three thousand dollars on an AR-15 you can get a gun that's amazingly accurate if you want to spend five hundred bucks on an AR-15 well y you get what you pay for and then for the purebred enthusiasts they can they can custom build their own AR-15 I mean it's the Barbie doll of the gun world you can slap whatever accessory you want on there it really doesn't matter so it just comes down to the individual and how much they want to put into it Alright, that's the M16 in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.